how would you define personally chaos? What is chaos in the first place? Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is tricky, right? There, there's it's. Uh, it's, you know it when you see it kind of thing, but there's a lot of sort of competing definitions. So let's start from talking about what it isn't, right? Because I think there's a fallacy that sometimes people have uh, where they think chaos is random, right? They think it's, uh, you know, it, as in a mathematical term would be stochastic, in which case it's not, right? It's not like flipping a coin. Um, chaos is a completely deterministic phenomenon. And what that means is that, you know, if everything starts exactly the same uh, and you and I do the same experiment, then we will get the same results, right? So it's not like you and I flipped a coin. But what defines chaos is how sensitive things are to how you start these, these, uh, these experiments. So if, if, you know, if you start just a little, little tiny bit off, eventually we're going to get really far away. We're going to get th these results that don't even resemble each other. Now, this is, uh, this is what's referred to as the sensitive dependence of initial conditions. This is what people usually use as a defining characteristic of chaos. There are much more uh, sort of intense uh, definitions. So, for example, Bob Devaney in the 80s came up with a, uh, a list of three rules, but then uh, you know, there's there's papers out there showing that some of these rules are redundant, some imply each other. And so this this really the sensitive dependence of initial conditions is sort of the defining characteristic, but uh, it doesn't capture everything you see. Now, what I what I also want to emphasize is just because it's not random doesn't mean it doesn't look random, right? Mm -hmm. This is the other aspect of it. This is why some people get fooled or some people get uh, confused by chaos because it, it looks like there's no rhyme or reason to what's happening here, right? If you, if you look at, uh, say, um, the, some sort of time series of uh, coming from a chaotic system, maybe, uh, you know, the, the pressure from day to day or hour to hour in the atmosphere, uh, you know, locally, um, something like that, it looks like it's just sort of jumping around randomly. And, and this is what is extremely complex about it. So you have very, very simple rules most of the time. If you think of maybe the Lorenz equation or some of our other favorite simple chaotic systems, but very, very complex outcomes. That's really how you should be thinking about uh, chaos. Sort of looks random, certainly is not though. There's a, there's a complete separation. 